Welcome to another SP Tools product demonstration. Today we're talking diagnostic tools and in particular we're talking about our laser guided or laser actuated range. So we're going to have a look at our laser actuated TACO and we're going to have a look at our infrared laser guided thermometer. Let's start with the TACO. Okay over here as you can see this is our little TACO unit. It does actually have a little laser here on the end and that's for directing it to the uh, to the reflector, the actual photographic part of it or the reflector detector is the second little part here. Um, very simple to turn on, turn, turn it on and then you can select through your units which include RPM, inches per minute, eight inches per minute, meters per minute, yards per minute, feet per minute. Uh, it also has a memory function, you can save up to 10 different readings and you can scroll back to them later. We'll come over here where we've already previously put a little piece of the reflector material. This material comes with the unit and you simply cut a small piece off and put it on what you're going to measure. Um, we'll turn the lathe on so we've got some action. And then as you can see here, there's my little laser. I'm putting it on where the reflective material is and it will come up and it's telling me in feet per minute it's 116.1. I'll just change the units for a second back to RPM. And now in RPM, we'll just let it stabilise, it's saying we're doing 354 RPM. There we go, that's exactly how it works. Cool, let's turn that off. Very, very simple to use, it's just point and shoot. So pick the, pick the, uh, the measurement you want to make, the, so the units you want to measure in, set it on the dial, press the button on the side, point it at the reflective uh, material and just for record it comes in this great little protective case in there there's your reflective material which you get a few pieces of this is readily available and simply put that back in there and that's our laser actuated taco so we'll move on to the next one infrared laser guided thermometer again very simple this time uh, it has a uh, it has a uh, device to measure the thermal radiation uh, so a, a thermal detector and it has two little lasers on either side. The reason for the lasers on this time is to give you the exact distance from the object to get the most accurate temperature measurement. Um, but to make sure you get the most accurate temperature measurement you must start by setting what we call the emissivity of the object. Emissivity is, one, is a ratio of the amount of thermal heat or the ratio of which an object will give off thermal heat. So perfect is a perfect black matte object um, that's theoretically a one. Well, one doesn't exist in the real world. So different materials have different emissivity. Um, for the purpose of today, I've set this at 0.8. And if you have a look there, you can see I've set it at 0 0.8. So you can see I've set it there at 0 0.8, 0.8. Um, that is the roughly the emissivity of normal steel. And again, if we come over to here, just, we'll just use our piece of steel here on the lay, the same spot, seeing as always it came. And you can see there, I've got it pointed down. Now if you look back down here, you can see I've got two laser pointers and they're not together. So as I move that in, when those two pointers come together, that gives us our best measurement, which is there. And we can see now that that's measuring at 24, roughly somewhere between 24.2 and 24.5 degrees Celsius. This is very just like the other one. You can also set it in Fahrenheit, Celsius. It's got memory function. It's got a number of functions you can go through. It's got uh, an alarm system where you can set it so if it goes over a certain temperature, the alarm will go off. It's got under a certain temperature, the alarm will go off. So there's a whole heap of functions you can set up if you've got a specific job you're doing and you need to know a specific high or low temperature. Um, mostly in the automotive industry, we get this is used primarily for looking for temperature differentials, meaning we're looking at, say, cylinder temperatures at the on the exhaust manifold and we're measuring one against the other. What we're really looking for is one that's excessively high or something maybe that's even excessively low. That's very unusual, but it may happen. Um, so you're looking for ratios. We're really, the absolute temperature is not what we're chasing. We're looking for the odd, the odd one, if that makes sense. Um, these same devices can be used um, for measuring skin temperature. You just reset the emissivity to about 0.95, I think, from memory. And then they can be used in a medical sense. And we've sold a mountain of these just recently, obviously, because of the COVID epidemic and for people make, taking quick measurements to make sure that no one's entering a premise who may be infected. Um, on it's a good note to head off. I noticed the lockdowns are out and uh, we're all heading off for Easter here. So thanks for uh, watching another 
great product demonstration.